Hello everyone, welcome to iExampi. Prepare 50% faster by embracing the iExampi learning experience. Reserve Bank of India or RBI recruits at the grade B level every year for its various departments uh, in three categories, the general, the DEPR and the DSIN. DEPR is the Department for Economic and Policy Research, which works like a think tank for RBI, uh, doing all the research work, helping it with all the research work, which will enable RBI to take the various policy decisions. So it's a very, very important department. And over the years, we have seen the trend a, uh, of vacancies and recruitment for this department to be on a rise, with highest vacancies of 38 being seen in 2023. Right. So this is a very, very important department. And if I talk about 2024 on RBI, the RBI has indicated that the notification would be coming out on the 18th of July, which is just a few days now left for the 2024 notification to be out for recruitment in the EPR also. Right. So uh, based on this uh, and how after the notification, the exam happens, uh, your phase one exam is likely to happen somewhere in the first week of first to second week of September, right? So somewhere 8 to 10 September is when your exam could happen. And your phase two exam will happen somewhere in the third or fourth week of October 24, right? So if I talk about the phase one currently, you have, you know, approximately two months for you to prepare. So exactly what you should be doing, if you are aware of the exam pattern or not, that is what I will be helping you through to this video. So before I move on to that, let's talk about the eligibility. Who all will be eligible to give the uh, DEPR exam for RBI grade B vacancies? For this, you need to have a master's degree either in economics or any related subjects of economics or a master's degree in finance or a a subject where finance is a principal constituent. Now, how do you understand what's a principal constituent? Whatever all your sub, uh, topics are, subjects are, credits are, at least 50% of those should relate to that particular subject of finance or economics. So if you have a master's degree in any of these with at least 55% marks, then you will be eligible for this particular exam, right? So, uh, of course, if you have a doctorate degree in economics or research or any kind of teaching experience in this, then also you will be uh, eligible and it is a desired but not a mandatory eligibility requirement. Mandatory is only master's degree in economics or in finance with at least 55% marks. Right. So let's move on to discuss about the exam pattern. But before I tell you the exam pattern, let me tell you about the offerings at iExam B, which are very, very unique and very helpful for your preparation. So uh, iExam B uh, has a DEPR course, which is dedicated towards preparation for the DEPR exam and has been prepared in a manner to keep in mind the past trends and the requirements of this particular exams. So this is a complete comprehensive course. It's not parts or test series only. It is a complete course which helps you with video lessons. So uh, as per your economics syllabus that has been given in the RBI DEPR notification, the content is prepared in short videos which you can listen at any time, right? So even if you are a working professional, or if you have any other engagements during the day, you will not be constrained to study uh, at a particular time. So you can listen to these videos any time of the day or from anywhere. So these are all available as an online course. You also have study notes related to relevant topics which are important for you to revise and remember. There's a lot of practice mock test, right? So this is similar to something like you may normally talk about as test series, right? So it is basically a mock test. And the unique part is they are made in the exact same pattern as the exam. So when you practice, you are also practicing for the real exam and they are online in the exact same interface as RBI provides you. You will also get descriptive economics questions to practice and discuss and get them evaluated by the faculty. 
and in addition to your economics preparation even descriptive english is prepared you are given classes you are uh, also given a lot of mock tests to practice from which are again evaluated and feedback is given to you and these are in the same pattern as rbi would conduct in an online manner right so all these are provided to you and uh, we this course will help you to prepare till your last stage which is the interview guidance uh, Sahil Arora sir who is an economics expert with more than 7 years of experience in teaching various subjects of economics for competitive exams is joining us and will be taking your class his strategy class is going to be held tomorrow 13th of july at 9 pm so uh, you can take you can be a part of this if you are in the course so giving you a brief about sahil sir as i stated he has more than 7 years of experience in economics a very passionate uh, teacher when it comes to the subject of economics and he has been uh, teaching for various kinds of competitive exams or economics based uh, based uh, papers uh, including of course rbi epr indian economic services uh, semester or entrance exams related to delhi school of economics and many more he is also taught at uh, isaf af uh, uh, you know as an economics faculty by education he holds a bachelor's degree in economics from delhi university and a master's degree in economics from jamia millia islamia and he also believes in continuously upgrading and upskilling himself and he has earned a certification in data science and decision science from iit delhi right so he will be guiding you and holding the strategy class tomorrow of course he will continue to guide for this 2024 uh, session now let's come to the exam pattern the exam pattern uh, has uh, two phases phase 1 and phase 2 so phase 1 is likely to happen in september and phase 2 is likely to happen in october in phase 1 there are two papers first is on economics which is objective in nature and the second is on english which is descriptive in nature right so uh, let's go a little more in detail about the phase 1 first so phase 1 which is objective in nature you get 65 questions with four options where 30 questions are of one mark and 35 questions are of two marks right so that is how you uh, get your total of 100 marks right so that's add up and you get two hours to do it so the second paper is descriptive english where you type your answers with the help of a keyboard so this is what i meant when i said in the i exam bd epr course you have the exact interface in the same pattern you will have your objective test build in the same pattern you will have your descriptive english paper so you can actually practice by typing in the same timelines and then it is submitted and then evaluated for you to uh, get a response the english paper uh, can consist of four questions there will be an essay that you have to write there will be a pressy that will be there there will be an rc and there can be a letter or a report depending on year to year which rbi specifies in its information handbook this is also of uh, 2 hours paper so this happens on one day on the same day right there is a negative marking of 1/3 uh, marks in uh, one marker questions and half a mark in two marks question in case of uh, the objective paper right and this exam actually as happens in two shifts in but on the same day the syllabus for the economics objective is covering majorly all the topics of economics including your microeconomics macroeconomics international economics theories of economic growth and development public finance environmental economics quantitative methods in economics which is basically including all the mathematical and statistical and econometric uh, aspects and any current developments in the indian economy right when we move to phase 2 the phase 2 exam pattern is completely descriptive this is hand written a uh, paper which you have to do uh, two papers happen both are on economics however they divided into different modules your first paper uh, consists of questions from microeconomics and macroeconomics and your second paper 
takes uh, on uh, on the topics of quantitative methods and indian economy you have to do a total of five questions out of these two which two from each of the sections and you are given enough choice four four questions are there minimum two you have to do from each of the sections in each of the paper so enough choice is given and uh, uh, very doable paper of course but it is a de detailed paper you need in depth understanding conceptual understanding and good writing uh, speed to be able to attempt these papers the syllabus for phase 2 uh, is again an elaborated form of the entire economics uh, which was also what you are preparing for phase 1 but in phase 2 of course you go into a little more depth and it is uh, descriptive in nature right so the first paper consists of microeconomics and macroeconomics modules and your phase 2 will consist of the quantitative methods and your indian economy modules right so this is the entire syllabus which we cover in uh, video lecture formats and uh, uh, important study note formats and giving you a lot of practice of sample descriptive questions and how to approach them what can be the sample answers uh, and discussions live live classes to interact with students for doubt clarifications for uh, understanding of certain important topics that will be taking place right uh, a complete information about the depr exam like you know what is the pattern the the syllabus how to prepare it uh, what have been the cutoffs in the past there is a complete document that we have collated together which you can download from the description box over here we have uh, we've been guiding for this paper for three years now and with good results every year improving results every year so this year again we look to forward to guiding you and helping you prepare 50% faster for the DEPR 2024 recruitment cycle. If you have any other queries, you can always reach out to us. If you want to understand how the other students who have cleared this exam in the past, prepared it, fared it, and been able to crack it, you can listen to certain uh, success stories available on our YouTube channel from 2022 and also from 2023. So wishing you all the best. Please take advantage of uh, the information available and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon for any other updates related to your DEPR 2024 exam. Wishing you all the best.